In this episode, I'm going to show you why this happening within your DAW is such a major problem and how to fix it. Hi, my name is Brian Pulowski, and I am a professional voiceover artist, and this is a major problem. This should not be happening. So to explain what you're looking at, this is a DAW. Mine happens to be Adobe Audition, but yours could be whatever. It doesn't matter what DAW you're using. Negative six decimals, this yellow line that I put represents negative six. These audio waves are clipping. You can see these red boxes. They're clipping the audio. They're flattening out not even at negative six, so that baffles me even more, okay? So they're clipping here, here, not good. I can tell they're clipping by visually looking at the audio waves and they're flat on the top, but also if you listen back, they're distorting. Typically, when audio waves are clipping, it's above negative one, right around zero is where it should be clipping. You don't wanna be clipping ever, but if you are, that's where it would normally happen. So to have it down here confused me. Here's what it should be looking like. If you look at my audio waves in Adobe Audition, I have a couple transients that are sneaking past negative six right here. But for the most part, uh, recording voiceover and dialogue, you always want to stay within this range. I have people and you can read people and see videos and people tell you, eh, you maybe you want to be a little bit lower than that. For me, I don't ever want to go over negative six. I do have a couple transients popping off. I should probably lower it a little bit. But for the most part, this is what it should be looking like. Well, it's looking like this because I fixed the issue. If I hadn't fixed the issue, it would be clipping all these little transients that are popping up. And so for the longest time, I didn't even notice it because these are the recording levels that I typically record at, maybe a little bit lower. So I never noticed that it was clipping until I was playing around. So I play, so I checked, checked, I couldn't see what it was. I thought maybe it's my interface. Maybe I, my interface gain is, is too hot. Well, if it was too hot or too high, it should be clipping at zero instead of clipping at wherever it was, negative five. That's not the problem. Maybe it's one of my plugins. Maybe my plugins, the output is up too high. Maybe it's limiting in some fashion or clipping in some fashion. If you know anything about audio production, that's not it. So I go through the entire chain trying to identify what is the problem because this is never going to be acceptable. You don't want that issue. Again, I didn't even notice it because I don't really ever go over negative six. I seem to be popping off a couple times in this. Maybe that's it's the screen capture program I'm using, but regardless, these transients that they were clipping wouldn't be a big deal. But if you're looking at this kind of audio, you're gonna have distortion all day, every day, and you do not want that. Okay, so let me take it back to the problem so you can see what it was before. Okay, so now if you look at my waveform, it is back to clipping at that negative five level or whatever the case is. That's no good. So here's how you fix it. We're gonna go down to our speaker right down here on the bottom right of the screen for Windows. For Mac, I'm sure it's in a similar location. Ultimately, what you're trying to do, can you hear the distortion? That's no good. I'll talk a little bit quieter. We're gonna go down to this level right here, and the problem is it's at 64 for my input volume, and I don't don't want that what I do want and if you go back to where it's at now this is where it ultimately should be in fact I should I could probably turn down my gain a little bit because I seem to be bouncing a little bit above ne negative six but this is fixed go into your sound settings change the setting back to a hundred because it's very likely that your input gain on your computer has been turned down. It is directly proportionate. So as you lower the input gain on the computer, you are lowering the level of where your DAW is going to clip. Essentially, you can think about that as at what point do I want my audio to clip if it's going to clip? And if you put it down, that's the level it'll clip at. You don't want that. You want the full range for the audio form. Okay, guys, I hope you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, hit it up in the comments and uh, I will make sure to address any questions you have. But that should definitely resolve this very, very frustrating issue.